Okay, folks, we're back. And, uh, you know, much love to Kikoskia, the Let's Player who inspired me to call my hero Avatar, but I think from now on, all heroes in any games I play will be called Robot Bombo. And if they have a lovable sidekick like Tina, they will be called Tacos <laughs> Um, alright, I'll save state. I think, um, Iron Helms are probably better than whatever those guys are wearing, so save and check them out. I, I guess I could be, um... Now, gas helm, or gas masks are, wait for it, wait for it, strong against gas. But these just have much better defense, so I'm gonna wear them. And I'll stick with the speed shoes, because I just got done giving away uh, the quick suits. Quick robes, whatever. Which sacrifice speed for defense, so why would I do that again? I'll keep a balanced party. Because a balanced party is the secret to winning this game. That's something I learned from a, a wise friend of mine named Robot Bombo. Okay, so I sell a bunch of crap. Uh, I probably, before I get going too much farther in the plot, need to go back to the goddess and see if anybody wants to buy my taco spin for a ridiculous price. Maybe drop some stuff off in storage, whatever. Weapons. What can I do for you? Nobody seems to be able to use the short bow. I'm not sure what the purpose of having that is. Laser gun! Uh, the deal with guns in this game is that they attack all enemies instead of just one. Which means that they're great against generic enemies and they're bad against bosses, but um, right now, um, bosses are really my only worry because I run away from generic enemies and I'm already over leveled. So, yeah, I'm not going to get a gun. The great sword, I think, will allow me to do... Um, their combined magic attack stuff, so that's pretty sweet. And, uh, Leona can equip a great sword, which is... Well, it's great. Leona is one, uh, badass chick. She is not a little girly girl like Tina. Tina, who cannot use great swords. Critical hit percentage will rise. Explain what? Um... Uh, battle axes. I, I guess I could like put those in storage so the Crustera could use them, but that would involve like thinking ahead and planning and stuff. That's really not my forte. My forte is um, collecting different colored orbs, tacos, mins, and talking to Wait for it, Wait for it, Robot Bombo. Hey, Uncle Save, hurrah! Hi guys, this is Upper Continent. It's huge. Be careful not to get lost. How did you get here? Are you? Did you hitch a ride on our Tacos Men rocket? Perhaps uh, the Burritos Men I mentioned earlier was how you got here. Found a rat tail, folks. See, that's why you may get impatient with all the looting. It's important. You, I would not have that one rat tail if I wasn't looting all the houses. Do, 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 do. Tacos Men, Robot, Bombo, and other things. Uh, she's weird looking. I'm tempted to say that she's probably a Kustera because really nobody else gets unique sprites. My name is Kustera Evelyn, really? I see, let's fight together. Evelyn joins you. <laughs> well, thanks Evelyn for um, joining my party without explaining who the heck you are. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you later. Now, I think between Evelyn and the chick on the Moe Island, um, and there's two more Kustera who are both female, I can pretty much have an all-female Kustera team with, like, one dude. And that dude would, of course, be, like, the pimp master guy who gets to hang out with a bunch of hot fighting chicks. Dr. Ash's house is up here. But, um, yeah. And I think once I get all the chicks, I'm going to, just for the just for the fun of it, be, being able to say that I have, like, <coughs> hot 16-bit poorly animated chicks, so I'm going <coughs> to probably assemble a Kustera team of uh, female fighting all-stars. But right now, um, I still need a couple more chicks to make that happen, so... I can't really be bothered with, um, anybody. Telepo. Yeah, see, I can just... It doesn't matter that I used, uh, destroyed the taco spin rocket, because now I can just teleport up there any time I want. So let's see if we can sell anything, drop anything off. Now that we've gotten to the exciting upper continent, let's, uh, let's delay, uh, the game going anywhere as long as we can. What do you say, folks? 
I see you again. I've got no money. Oh, come on, man. I, thought, I came here specifically to, um... Start selling off quad atoms that I can't use anymore, like orbs and robot lavas. That was actually a really stupid use of a telephone now that I think about it, because, um... This is one of the places where I can go and I can automatically get full everything back. I'm gonna start storing moon drops just so that I don't have to worry about my party using them when I'm uh, in auto mode. And I'm gonna store the various plot items that just take up space. I'm almost positive I'm never gonna use Taco Smith again, despite it being the most incredibly awesomely named uh, item ever. I'll hold on to some pom pom because, you know, why not? Plum plums and restores for emergency purposes. Let's see, what's Evelyn? She's a thief. Hey, that's kind of neat. Um, shark. I don't really give a crap about shark. Maybe I could make Ben the priest wander around with a bunch of checks because, you know, he's um, a priest and he's not faced by the feminine walls. Or David of Custera because, you know, hey, he's a um, straight up original gangster Custera. Custera number one. He's the Custera who started it all, folks. Leakies! It's either named for electricity or for, I don't know, leakies? Maybe it's for onions or urination or something? It's named for Robot Bombo. You know, Robot Bombo is going to be a major force in the plot. I, I can feel it. I think near the end of the game when you storm Hamakuz's evil base and you're facing off of Hamakuz, he's gonna bust out like some superpower magic and like, you're gonna be right on the edge of the feet and suddenly Robot Bombo is gonna show up and be like, I I I'm b Bombo. I'm gonna c c kill you. Robot Bombo would also make a great addition to Bee Gees Town. He could be like the knights on b b b Broadway. B b b Bombo. You can try to understand the New York Times. So there you go. And two great loves. The Bee Gees and Robot Bombo have at last come together. Oh come on. Great enemies I can't run away from. Who would have thunk it? The mysterious upper continent is full of useless random enemy battles. And I'm completely lost. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. They did tell me which way to go to get to this other castle. Um, the princess is being held in another castle. But I wasn't paying attention. Because I was just too enamored with the idea that Booth defeated this guy's wife and son. Didn't kill them, he defeated them. <laughs> so, like, you know, he sent his wife and son to fight Booth, and, um, or possibly just to have a friendly game of checkers. <sighs> oh, damn, even when you're leveled up to, like, almost level 30, you still kind of suck. Booth Castle. Okay, now they did say something about how the town of something or other was north of Booth Castle. Oh, the monster hasn't seen me yet? Well, maybe I'll kill it instead of running away from it. Why not? Ooh, 91 F. This would be a really great time to have an airship or something. Alright, here's the town of whatever, whatever. The most important place in the world. How many freaking bombed out towns are we going to have in this game? This is Alazina. Thank you. I live here by myself with a bunch of ruined buildings. Yeah. The customers in this town are now few. We are hanging by thread. Oh, okay. She's going to hang herself. Don't hang yourself, bunny girl. This town is like this after being attacked so often by Gera. <laughs> Gera is one of the four great followers of Hong Kong. But not Booth. Booth, like, actually is really nice to these people. Gera, on the other hand. Hmm. How's it going? Did you lose your way? By the way, will you blah 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 blah. Alright, this video is almost over, but uh, we are tantalizingly close to the second great follower of Hama Cruz. This town is known for its magic. This town is known for being the bombed out wasteland. Well, welcome to the end. Yeah, I probably should stay at the end. Okay, folks, well, I'm going to enjoy a good night's sleep. You enjoy the tantalizing prospect of us going to Booth's Castle in the next video. I will see you there. And I will also see you. Bye-bye.